Don't incriminate yourself. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right. How long have you been in the orchestra? Uh, since 1986. My audition was in December 1986. Okay. So you were all pretty young then. If I wasn't was born. I was born. Was was <laughs> <laughs> and then I started playing in February. But I went back and forth a few times between Toronto and Calgary. Oh, okay. Still working, different things. And then I came full time in the fall. Okay. Yeah. So are you from Toronto? I don't know. Edmonton. Sure this about you. Oh, okay. Edmonton. Oh, okay. But I was living in Toronto then. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You studied with David Zafer, right? I did, but that was quite a few years before. before. Yeah, I, then I studied with Oscar Shamsky and George Nykrook after that. Did you study with David Heatherington? I did, point? Yeah, yeah. for three years. Orchestra yeah. pieces, or that was when you were young? Yeah. Um, that was at the end of high school, like right before going to college. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it was good, he was a good teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was great. Um, yeah. Yeah, I learned so much from him. Yeah. So, when did you join again? So this is my fifth season. Fifth, yeah. okay. Uh, so that was 2015. Okay. Yeah. I'm from Toronto. Yeah, and I did all my schooling in the States and at IU, Indiana University, and then uh, at Colburn in LA. And actually, I went to school with your father. Was with yeah. Well, yeah, he was my, one of my professors. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. His intonation is, he's notorious for really good intonation, so I can say very picky about that. Yeah. yeah. That's where you got it, huh? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I'm from Winnipeg, originally. Yeah, so I grew up in Winnipeg and went to school in Toronto and then came out here. I was teaching long before I was performing professionally. Um, taking a break from it now, but yeah, I started my... My teacher in high school handed her whole studio over to me um, when I was 16, so I was really lucky. So it was kind of trial by fire and I learned how to teach and yeah, made my living like that for a long time. Uh, yeah, I teach at MRU. I have a few students. One of them is my son, who, who's 11 years old. That's awesome. And he doesn't always listen to me, but he doesn't always listen to me, but he is improving. He's getting better. And one th highlight is I go to teach in near Aurelia, Ontario, and all my students come and my son is there and there's a lake and it's summertime and it's, it's very nice and they play in ensembles together and have a good time. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Your son is 11? He's 11. And he doesn't yeah. listen all the time. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> yeah. 